Hey everybody, we're live here with another content vid. We're going to go here talking about electric fields. So let's actually head uh, over to electric field hockey uh, like you were playing yesterday. We got Mr. Higgs and his cone, cone of doom. Uh, but let's pop over to electric field hockey. So uh, Higgs is just going to sit on my lap for this, which is fine. Now what I asked you to do with this was I asked you to try to figure out the rules. Now the, the game is pretty simple. We're trying to get this puck into this net. And, are you okay? Are you okay? What are you trying to Can't handle the cone. So we're trying to get this. I mean, the easiest uh, thing for me to do is to go like this, right? And we won. We won the game. Now, you know, what's, what we want to think about is that's not, not the only rule, right? So that's not the only way to win. The other way I could win uh, would be to, you know, what if I uh, did something like this? Ooh, so what, we're, what we should notice here is uh, the puck here is a positive charge. So if I were to have uh, a, a positive charge nearby it, you can see by that arrow uh, that like charges are going to repel each other, which is something that we should be fairly familiar with, right? Uh, and then uh, likewise, uh, opposite charges will attract. So we're getting those the attractive and repulsive force, and, and those forces are based off of Coulomb's law. Um, now, I can actually, if I wanted to, do both, right? And now if I do both... I just win quicker, right? Because what we got going on now is now I have um, both the puck being repelled by the positive charge and attracted by the negative charge. So I'm getting both of those simultaneously. Um, if I, uh, like West Video, want to do that, right? Instead of just um, increasing things that way, I could just add more charge here. And, and if I add more charge, you can see I'm adding more of those force lines. And I can also win that way. And that's showing us that relationship between charge and force. More charge means more force. The other thing to, to look at I think is pretty interesting this is, I reset this back. When I'm very far away, you don't see a vector on there. But as you see a little, little tiny red arrow, and you can see it getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger over time. And that's showing us that, that 1 over r squared relationship, that distance actually does have effect on the force on the charged particles. Uh, the thing that I, I want, uh, that I hope you got out of this was, so if we go into one of these levels, right, uh, and if we try to do that, you can say, oh, okay, so I didn't win there. So maybe I'd put a, a positive charge up here and, and okay, okay, almost. Uh, and then maybe I'll just move this guy down a little bit. Oh, collision, so close. Guy a little bit. Oh, collision. I was so close to winning, and now I'm so far away from winning. Close. Okay, maybe maybe I'll add another one over here. That's probably a move you guys would do, right? Oh, okay. Well, so, well now I'll just I'll, I'll attract it to the goal, right? That'll be the that'll be the boom. We're in. So now I won, right? And it, and if I if I do anything else to this, if I move these ever so slightly, so if I just move this one just a little bit, right, and reset. Now I lost, right? As we add more charges here, right? So as we add more charges, if I add them anywhere, I'm gonna affect everything that's going on because these electric fields, right, is what we're talking about. The electric fields are really the idea of, of, of a force field is a way we would describe them in physics. Force field? Yeah, force field. Like, 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 like use the force, Luke? Use the force, Luke. No, no, not at all. Like, like in, in every sci-fi ever where they're like, the force fields, the force fields will protect us from the aliens. No, because this is like real, like actually real. Oh, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So the idea of an electric field is a way for us to interpret how charges will act uh, with different forces. Let's get out of the game and let's get into this applet that I have. Uh, and this is the charges and fields one from FET. And you can see the, just a blank field here, nothing, uh, because there's no charges to create a field. But if I, if I drop this charge here, all of a sudden you see these bunch of arrows. What do these arrows represent? These arrows are representing um, how much force would another positive particle feel if it was nearby? And you can see uh, the way they're, they're showing magnitude of force uh, is based off of 
the um, intensity uh, of, of the actual arrows here. So these ones uh, out in this region that are sort of dimmed out, that would be less force. Uh, and we can sort of see um, what we got going on there. Now, uh, if I uh, add a second one, so just, just, just pick an arrow, pick any arrow, I'll wait for you to choose. Got it? Great. I'm going to add another charge here and watch what happens. Oof. Draw our move. Okay, let's, let's get another one. Draw our move now. Draw our move now. Your arrow move now. Did your arrow move now? Did it move now? Did it move now? Did it move now? Did it move now? Now you see something like this, if we were to, you know, launch this into, into FET, uh, the, the electric field type, this would be pretty complicated. Every charge affects the entire field, not just some of it. 1 over R squared, the relationship in Coulomb's law dictates that this force is infinite. Yeah, it gets real weak as you get far away, but if you do anything here, you're going to really change it up. Go back to that simple, you know, singular charge. And now if I were to add a negative charge here, you can see uh, that's going to increase the field. Now, the way we typically draw field lines and, and think about them is it's all about relative to a positive charge. So what would a positive charge do here? Positive charges would go away from positive charges and towards negative charges. That's why these lines are drawn the way they are. But one of the things that I, I want to sort of um, build from here in terms of electric fields and talk about is, is are they going to move? Right? Will a charge move or not? And, and if we have something like this, if we put a charge down here, it absolutely would move. But would it move more if I had something like that and something like that, something like that? Hmm. And this is where, if I clear this, we can get into a concept of something called voltage. Now, we're going to talk on this just ever so briefly now, and then we'll pick this up again. But if I click this voltage on you, you see this red glowing thing. That red glowing thing is, is if, if I'm in that region, I'm going to be shoved out of that region. Um, because it, it, it's it's the red one here. But watch watch what happens when I add the second one. Yeah, the region's now a lot larger. And if I add another one, more and more and more and more and more. So now you can see charges. Are they going to move? Are they going to flow? Yes, if there's a reason for them to do so. Right? They also would need a path to do that, and, and that's sort of another conversation. But let's think about them more like this. If, if they have a reason or a, a way to go. Now, if I were to have you know, a bunch of, of, of this sort of locked down, and if I had a bunch, I know these are sensors, but if I had a bunch of these little charges here, right? Are they going to want to stay near this? No, they're going to be forced out of there if they're given an opportunity to do so. Let's head to our friend, John Travoltage. John Travoltage. Now, you may have done this before if you ever uh, had a uh, carpet where you can rub your feet on it. And when you're doing that, you're actually adding a bunch of excess electrons. Now, by doing that, you're making yourself negative. The electrons, a little inaccurate in this applet, they'll actually spread out uh, all over. They're trying to repel each other, get as far away as they can. But now, will those electrons ever move out of you? Yes, if they have somewhere to go. So if they have somewhere to go, like maybe a doorknob, the ouch. In the older version of this, he used to go bzay ouch. It was really loud and it was kind of fantastic. So if we give them a, a, a path to travel, they'll take that. Why? John Travoltage is already full of protons, neutrons, and electrons. Those protons uh, and electrons inside of him are like, guys, we're neutral. Can we just get rid of the excess? And they're going to take that. Uh, this concept of, of having an excess electrons or a deficiency of electrons and producing something neutral is a concept known as grounding, which we'll get more into uh, in some later things. But a little idea here of voltage being that if we have a reason for the electrons to travel, they certainly will. Uh, I hope this uh, you've enjoyed your time, and uh, thanks for watching.